Well, last time we saw how we created this main window, how we renamed it, some of the issues that we may have in case we delete a, a method that was created automatically by Visual Studio. And now we're gonna just start putting, uh, just let's just create the menu and put the menu items and all that. Uh, we talked a little bit about the toolbox, uh, the things that you could, you should have in order to do that. And it's always good to kind of navigate around all this, see what they do. Uh, some of them rarely will be used, but some of them will be used uh, very frequently. So yeah, it's good to have a basic idea of all of them. Uh, what are we gonna be using here right now will be the menu. I'll just sh show you how we do that. So if you come here to menu and I, I just press the button on it and I come right here into the interface, this is what I'm gonna have. I can actually decide how big I want it. In this case, I wanted to take it all. So let me put it into here. Uh, we may have a problem though, and I'm gonna show you to you what type of problem that we can actually have and how we can fix it. But visually, the way I'm seeing here is like it's covering, it's taking all the spaces here uh, on the width. Uh, I wanna put it right here on the top of it completely. As we can see, when I did that, it created this for me. You see uh, the height, the name, and the vertical alignment. That is, That could also be changed right here in the properties. As you can see here, that, that could be changed here. Um, in this case here, the problem I, I was guessing that we could have, and sometimes it happens depending on how we do it, is if we don't have the width to be auto, uh, the problem we have is when we run this program, let's actually run and see one thing here real quick. When I run it, I have here this menu bar all the way here. Since it's auto, if I do this, if I maximize uh, the, the screen, it's gonna go all the way. If I don't have the auto over there, then I'm just gonna have this, this size here no matter what. I mean, I can still put the window as big as the screen, but I, I can't really um, change the, the menu bar to be to follow the, the width of the screen. So it's good to have auto for that. Here, I'm show you again. Uh, let me actually get this. Uh, well, let me do it from here. As you can see, uh, no matter how big it is, it will always, the menu bar is gonna be following the width of the, the of the screen. So uh, what I want to do now is just create some items here. For example, menu or edit or whatever it is. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to actually do that manually because by looking at the toolbox, I don't see a way of doing it. And we probably have it. I just can see a way of doing it. And I will also do it manually so we can actually kind of deal a little bit right here. Uh, in this uh, text box, box thing. Uh, just a couple of things that's good to know is w w like what those do is like if I press the design, uh, it's kind of I'm just making the design screen active. If I uh, press the Zen, now I'm making this other part of the, uh, the screen active. Uh, I can change also places, like I can put, if I press here, then my interface box is going to come up here uh, and my WPF uh, writing code will be up here. So yeah, you can choose whatever you want to do on that. I'll just keep the way it is right now. And how I'm going to create those items here uh, by typing is, this is pretty much similar to XML. Uh, the, the, the rules that XML governs. For example, if we have like a, a tag, we must close that tag. This is self-closed. We don't have to worry about that. But if I want to actually add menu items, then I'm going to take that. It's going to be showing the error to me, which is fine. So I'm going to come right here and close it. So just by doing this, just uh, getting that, uh, that slash 
and, and it's gonna recognize that I want to close the menu so that's another way of doing it uh, and it's right here and that's how I want to do it if I want to put menu items on it and since I want to do it since I want to put menu items I'm come back here with in the menu tag and put here menu uh, it's gonna show that okay show me to me right here already menu item I want to have a name for that like what I want it to be showing on it and to do the name that you want it to be shown on it you just type header um, and that one I want to sh want to call it menu um, you're gonna see people putting sometimes this underscore right before a menu or sometimes they won't put it it won't matter it will be showing just the menu uh, that's probably a reason oh it's saying that is in the, there's an error must be fixed and the error is that I haven't closed okay there you go now it, it was closed now it is showing right here my menu uh, and my header um, I probably want to add somebody else so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a um, edit so menu item now I want a header now I want to edit so let me close that and I'm gonna add as I had previously I want to add the view so here I go and view okay there you go now I have everybody there the way I want it to be um, let's run the program and see what's going on again here it is menu edit and view um, seems to be working okay uh, what I want to do now though is I want to be able to to get some list inside of it so I can actually access whatever I want it for example for menu I'm gonna use add student and add class so I wanted that list to pop up whenever I press the menu button and remember if I double click menu that's gonna create a method right in the in my uh, CS file so like let me do that so you see you see there like menu item click in this case I'm not for this one I'm not gonna use it as well because whenever I click that menu item it would just I just want to do that so it can show me uh, what I can do in this case add a student or delete student or whatever I want to do so I don't need it I can keep this here if I want to if I don't want I can just go ahead and delete it and that's what I'm gonna do in this case but since I deleted it there I also gotta make sure now you can see like I didn't add this click here it was added so I don't want that and since I deleted there in the, the method I, I deleted the method I want to make sure I delete this see as well otherwise I'm gonna have errors okay it's deleted so let's run and see if it is working so we don't have problems in the future okay it is working no problems okay now we're gonna have to see how we can actually put those uh, lists in here